Riedel is a software development company that is best known for its long list of productivity apps that are consistently raising the bar of quality. And they raised it just again by bringing drag and drop to their iPad apps. Now there is still no official API to do drag and drop from Apple, so Riedel went ahead and did it themselves. This is something I was not expecting or even thinking was allowed on the App Store today with the current sandboxing rules. The way it works is you must have two of the four apps supported in Split View. This list includes Readle's Documents, PDF Expert, Spark, and Scanner Pro. Then long press on the document and it'll start to hover, and then now you can move it to the app next to it. The impressive thing is that when you get to the middle of the screen, the document doesn't disappear. It stays on screen the whole time. I'm not sure how they did this, but it is really impressive. If you have Documents, PDF Expert, or Scanner Pro open and drag the document to Spark, it will open a Compose email screen and attach the file for you. You can also grab a document and just drop it straight into a folder as well. I had stepped away from using Documents as I have been using Devon Think to Go more. And the same thing with Spark as Airmail is my go-to email application. But this one feature is making me rethink that. Being able to move documents around quickly could be a game changer, especially for me as I will be working on a big iOS 11 review coming up this summer. The only thing that gives me pause is the lack of workflow support for the apps. And now that workflow is owned by Apple, I wouldn't expect it anytime soon. But for right now, I will keep using the apps to really take advantage of the drag and drop nature. Like I said, I'm very impressed with the way Riedel got this to work. It really feels like something baked into the OS. I completely understand why a company wouldn't want to do this, but as a consumer, I'd love to see them open source this API to allow other apps to work with it as well. But they are a company and their first priority is to their products, and I understand that. Plus, like I said in my iOS 11 prediction video, I wouldn't be surprised to see Apple put this feature into the OS. The last quick note that I want to make here is I like they didn't wait for Apple to make their version. Readle knew this would benefit their apps and their customers, and they went for it. I would like to see more iOS developers do that as well.